Okay, I've now finished my layout. I can still go in and manipulate them because I've got all the layers. And now I'm ready to save the document. Now when I'm saving a document that I've made in GIMP, just like you do in Photoshop, for example, you want to save two versions of the file. One version contains all your layers and text layers so that you can always open this up again and you can manipulate the text and move around your layers. And in GIMP, that is an XCF file. But you also want to save a simpler version of the document, also known as a flattened version, which doesn't contain any layers, doesn't contain any text, it's, it's fairly uneditable. And that's the version that you want to submit to CATC. And that version will most likely be in the JPEG file format. So if I go to the file menu and I can select save as, and this will allow me to save my image in the XCF format. And I'm going to type in my name, it's already there, Macromag Final. Hit save. This file already exists, not a problem. Hit replace. And now I've saved this XCF version with all the layers onto my computer. Now to export the simple file version, you go to the file menu and select export. And pops up a dialog box very much like the save as dialog box. And in this dialog box, you can save out to a, a bunch of different image file formats. If you click the little image type drop down menu here, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different image formats. You could save to a JPEG, for example, or you could save to various other formats. PNG is another very good image format to send to us. JPEG can be compressed, which means it'll make the file size smaller, but it'll also decrease the quality. So I'm going to save it as a PNG, a ping file and you can choose where to save it by selecting the options inside the file browser and you can hit export when you're ready. A couple of image options here that you can choose from. I'm going to leave it as default and hit export. And it does its thing. And then when it's ready, if I go and have a look on my desktop where my GIMP folder is, I now have my XCF version, which is a 13 megabyte file and that's the GIMP version of the file with all the layers and I've got a PNG version which is 8 megabytes which is just a simple image format that I could easily submit to CATC. So that's GIMP, excellent application, very powerful, you've got all the power of layers, text layers, transparent layers, image layers, just like you would use in Photoshop You've got loads of tools to play with that you can manipulate your layers with, scale them, resize them, distort them, or paint directly on them. You've got plenty of brush presets and more tool options in the tool options panel. Plenty of manipulations you can do uh, to your colors. It's a very powerful application and all for free. If you want to know more, jump onto the GIMP website and just go to the tutorials section, simply gimp.org slash tutorials, and you'll see that there is a whole bunch of tutorials that you can have a look through to, um, to get more in-depth information about how to use the software. So go ahead, have a play, and create cool stuff.